Hey YouTubers, Coach Chris here to talk with you today about CLA. Well, what the heck is it and does it work? CLA, also known as conjugated linoleic acid, comes primarily from ruminants and the products of ruminants. Well, what the heck does that mean? Well, it means you can find it in dairy and you can find it in meat. It's found in some other products as well, but those are gonna be your primary sources. So a lot of people have turned to CLA in order to lose fat. What you need to know is, in order to have any effectiveness whatsoever, you need to consume at least three to 3.4 grams a day of CLA. Now, that means that you can only obtain that much from a supplemental source. In order to consume those quantities from meat or dairy, you would also need to consume about 500 grams of fat, primarily from saturated sources. That means that you would need to obtain 4,500 calories from fat alone in order to get sufficient quantities of CLA for it to even work. So you would need to supplement with it. Now I've read a lot of studies on this. I've read old studies, you know, going back 20, 30 years, and I've read recent studies. Now the trouble with the studies is, is they're very, very contradictory. We've got plenty of studies over here that say, yes, CLA works. We've shown that it decreases body fat and elevates muscle tissue. Now we've got studies over here that say, you know what? We found no difference between placebo and the CLA. So we have an equal amount of studies that show that it's ineffective and we have an equal amount of studies that show that it works. Now, what does this mean? It means that it's very contradictory. It means that we have not found a solid, yes, it works or a solid, no, it absolutely does not work. And like most supplements, what works for one may not work for another. And I think that's what we're seeing here. Now know that a lot of the older studies that were done on CLA were done in rats. And we found that CLA was effective in reducing certain cancers, and we found that it was effective in reducing body fat in rats. But the human trials haven't shown us that it's as effective in humans as it has been in rat studies. So what other things are being said about CLA? It's been said that it can boost immunity. It's been said that it can help with insulin sensitivity. It's been said that it can reduce body fat. It's been said that it can build muscle. It can facilitate in that process. But a lot of these things really are lackluster at best. The evidence is too contradictory. So I'm here to tell you that purchasing CLA and using it, it may or may not work for you. It may not be the best investment for you to spend money on. There's two things that are always hands down the most effective when trying to achieve any fitness goal. The first one is having a solid training plan, something that you're sticking with on a consistent basis. The second is having a solid diet plan that aligns with your fitness plan that also aligns with your intended goal or outcome. Those are the two most powerful things that you can do. All these other supplements are just an extra tool. And if you wanna go out and you wanna supplement with CLA, it may work for you. And know that if you're gonna go out and spend the money on CLA to see that if it's gonna work for you, just focus on CLA alone. Don't go buy a whole bunch of other products because then you don't know which one is working. I think with that being said, you're always gonna be better off going with a solid training plan and a solid diet plan in order to maximize your results. Well, I hope you guys found this information useful. As always, make sure you leave me a comment below Leave your questions below. If you're not already, make sure you're following me over on Instagram at chris.morellifit. You guys, stay the course, stay consistent, and let's get fit together. Take care.